Every year, the Belize Police Department um, facilitates or hosts a summer program. The summer program is run from this unit, the Community Policing Unit, here at the Yabra um, Drop-In Center. And it, um, it's geared toward having children have something positive and constructive to do in the summertime. It's a three-week program, and it started on July 2nd, Monday, and it will run right up until July 20th. The camp is organized by the officers of the police community policing unit. Um, this year, we have incorporated um, different programs into the, into the day. So one of the main programs that we're running is the GREAT program, which is an educational program and it stands for Gang Resistance Education and Training. It's a training that the police officers of the Community Policing Unit have gone on in El Salvador, funded by the U.S. Embassy, and they have learned how to teach this um, lesson. It's GREAT is a life skills course in which the children will learn um, positive self-esteem, um, saying no to peer pressure, and it reinforces positive so, um, life skills in general. Um, as well, we also have the children doing arts and crafts. We have them doing self-defense, which is a big hit. The children love doing their self-defense class. And in the afternoons, we have them doing sporting activities. With the, the, for the most part, they're divided into groups, and they rotate between these classes. And they will do um, sports in the afternoon. We have volleyball, basketball, softball, and football. And we just try to teach them you know, the basic skills that they can um, use while playing these sports. But at the same time, we try to incorporate you know, good sportsmanship, um, working as a team and trying to get the kids to work together to have fun. So it's just children from the Yabra community? Um, well, the recruiting was done through the schools and um, through the home visits that the police officers of the community policing unit do um, to children that they have come in contact with. So we went out and we actually um, tried to recruit some children, but some children also come to it through the schools or, you know, just by the, some of them that come, they bring their friends and it's just like that that we try to get the kids and we accept any child, you know, b between the ages of 8 to 15. It actually goes to 17, but the oldest one we have right now is 15. And um, we just try to group them so that they learn something while they are here.